Hello, Central Texas College students. I'm Angela Reese, Professor and Online Manager for the Business Administration and Paralegal Department. I'm excited to speak with you today and answer any questions you may have about the department as we move forward during this very unique time in our history. Let me first just say that we miss seeing your faces every day on campus. We hope that you are doing well and that you are staying safe of your endurance during this time and ability to adjust to the multitude of changes in your daily lives. Uh, know that we are in the same boat you are. We have been affected. We know that you're struggling each in your own way and you're working very hard to balance all of your commitments. Um, just so you know, your faculty and staff are here for you and ready to help you every single day. We too are learning to adjust to the changes of our lives. We're trying to balance family, homeschooling our children, mine might walk in at any moment, a new way of grocery shopping, waiting to get our hair done, and of course, working remotely to be here for you every single day and ready to assist you. We are right now, of course, winding down the spring semester, and we know you're eagerly looking forward um, to seeing what your grades are. And we also are hoping that you are eager and gearing up for your summer classes. So as you're waiting for those final grades to post later this week, um, we hope that you are starting to think about the classes that you might want to take this summer. I know that we are still offering classes as we normally do the full range um, with, of course, some modifications. So I'm going to go over some of those changes that we have to offer for our summer classes. Um, one thing that I want you to know and be aware of is that even as you are looking online and um, seeing in WebAdvisor um, the number of seats that are still available, we are still going to offer the classes um, and we will be canceling very few classes, even if there's only a handful of students, so that we are here for you um, during this unique time. One major change that um, we are going to be implementing for our online classes, is a lot of those will be moving from a traditional online class, meaning you have a specific start and end date with due dates in between. And we're going to be shifting a lot of those, not all of them, but a lot of them to self-paced. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you ask your instructor, look in your syllabus to see if your class is going to be moving to that format or not. If you've never heard of self-paced online classes before, what that means is that we have a start date and we have an end date. We also will have suggested due dates for you to go by. However, if something happens, such as life, um, you are able to wait and post that as you're able to. However, everything is due by the last day of class. So if you have questions about that, um, like I said, be sure to ask. Um, always ask questions. That's the number one thing I can tell you is reach out to your instructors, ask questions so that you're familiar with the structure of the classes. So for business and accounting, the majority of our classes will be online. We have five, six, eight, 10, and 12 week um, self-paced, and then a few that will be traditional, such as accounting. Um, in the online format to meet those needs that you have. We do have a few lecture courses, and with the lecture courses, those will be modified, of course, um, to follow the college administration's guidance as to when we will be able to meet back for those lecture courses. In the meantime, if you're signing up for a summer lecture course, um, some of the instructors will do live and also recorded lectures for you. Um, again, biggest thing is to keep in contact with them so that you understand what their um, requirements are. For hospitality, um, we do have 10-week online classes. They will also be offering lecture and lab courses. So for those classes that do have a lecture and a lab component, they are going to be limiting the enrollment to nine students to provide CDC compliance of social safe distancing. They will also be providing masks and additional sanitation and safety precautions. For real estate, they are going to be offering eight and 10 week formats for the online and lecture classes. The lecture classes will use collaborate recorded sessions. They will also utilize PowerPoint presentations with recorded audio and they will hold um, virtual office hours. 
For paralegal and Homeland Security, they are going to be offering traditional eight-week format classes. And for logistics, those are going to be self-paced in the eight-week format. So before I move into um, actually showing you what our departmental website looks like, there's a few questions that we typically get. Um, I know that a lot of you are returning students. Some of you are new students looking to start your education journey with Central Texas College and the business department. Um, so a few of the things that I wanted to cover that um, are some of our uh, questions that we see more frequently are which program is right for you? Well, all the tell you that it really depends on you. It depends on your goals for the future and your goals for the program. Um, so one of the things that we like to do is set up a time to speak with you, whether that's with our office management um, staff um, or if it's your faculty, and we'll talk through your unique goals and then we will help determine which is going to be the best program of study for you. So some people say, well, you know, I currently have a, a job, it's my career, and I just want advancement. I want to become a supervisor. I want to become a manager. Well, one thing that we would suggest you do is talk to your current supervisor to see um, what do they require? What types of classes are they interested in you pursuing? Uh, pursuing excuse me. Um, also, if there's a dream job that you're looking for, review the requirements for those dream jobs. If you're looking to start your own business, we have an entrepreneurship certificate. Um, if you are looking to just take a few classes and transfer, one of the key things that you would need to do is talk to the university that you're looking to transfer to. Um, and then from there, we would sit down and talk to you about each of those um, unique goals and then help cater a program to you. We do have a lot of stackable uh, certificate and associate degrees in our department. What that means is that you can start off on your path, start taking classes toward a certificate program, which is typically a one-year program. And as you complete that certificate program, you're able to apply for graduation, earn that um, first step. And then if you want to continue on, you can move it into an associate degree program. Um, and if you, once you finish that associate degree and you wanna move forward from there, we have a lot of articulation agreements um, with many universities um, here locally in the Central Texas area. We have a very strong relationship with Texas a and Central Texas to where you take your entire certificate stacked into an associate degree and then it stacks into a bachelor degree program with Texas A&M that even qualifies you if you want to continue on um, for an MBA. So again, we have a lot of different programs that are offered 100% online for you um, during this time to where we cannot offer a full range of lecture classes. Um, so we want to make sure that we speak with you and figure out how to help you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move over to our website now so that these programs that I've been talking about, you'll be able to go back and look at the different requirements and ask questions here in a few minutes if you have any. And if not, you can always reach out to us later after you've had time to process some of the information that I've uh, provided to you. So I am going to give me just a moment to share my screen. Okay, and so now you should be able to see, I am just at the Central Texas College homepage, which is ctcd.edu. From here, I'm just going to hover over the students drop down, and we will move down to instructional departments. And then once here, you're going to select the business administration. And then this takes you to our homepage. You will see that we have a message here from our department chair that you'll be able to watch, um, Professor Les Ledger. Um, so you can um, receive his warm message there. And as you scroll down, you will see those different areas within the business department that I was speaking about and the different programs that we have to offer that you will be able to explore in more depth. So you see here first, you can look through uh, the business, the accounting and the real estate programs. As you scroll down, you will see um, a link to learn more about hospitality and then further down into our paralegal 
and legal assistant. If you're interested in becoming a paralegal or are a pre-law student, you're going to want to explore more here. And as we move further down, we have our link for our Homeland Security programs as well. I'm going to go back up to the top now as I'm scrolling. You will see here that uh, we have a contact us link. So when you click on the contact us link, you will see um, here we have our department chairs information as well as the ability to contact um, our office staff. So you can see here each of these wonderful ladies that guide us and help each and every one of us every day. So if you have questions about the business department, you can reach out to our office manager, Ms. Is Colleen Willis um, or Miss Victoriana Cox. Uh, for questions for hospitality, we have Miss Deb Knutson and then Miss Cheryl Jones for paralegal and homeland security programs. So you can send them each an email or give them a phone call. And I'm going to scroll back up to the top here. And I also want to show you, in case you've never um, seen this area before of our website, you can check out the information for our different full-time instructors. So each of us are listed here and you can scroll through each of our contact information and give us a call or um, an, a send us an email. Please know though, as we are working remotely, if you do reach out to us via phone, there might be a delay in replying. We still will, um, but we each are calling in and checking our messages every day. But as we're working remotely, it might just be a delay in receiving a, re a return call. The other thing that I wanted to point out to you, um, is an organization that is student-led that Professor Chastity Clemens oversees is our Net Impact Program. Um, students from any organization on campus, any program of study are able to join Net Impact and put everything that you are learning in the classroom to practical use. So if you are looking for a, a challenging new um, organization to be a part of, um, consider Net Impact as we move into the fall. If you have questions, you can reach out to Professor Clemens. Um, her email address is listed here as well as her phone number. Now I'm going to return back to our WebEx here and stop sharing my screen. And I'd like to open up um, to any questions that you might have about our department. All right, um, the question that I have is what's a virtual office hour and what does that look like? Okay, that's a great question. So uh, virtual office hours are going to look a little bit different for each of your professors. Um, the one thing that I would suggest that you do is I would just shoot a message in Blackboard to them or go to the screen that I showed you a few moments ago um, to where you can contact any one of us and send us an email. From there, we will schedule a time to meet with you. Some people are doing collaborate sessions in Blackboard. Some people have WebExes. Others will um, do phone calls. For myself, for example, somebody asked me last night if we could schedule a phone call. So I have a phone call scheduled later today um, to talk through questions that um, one of my students has. Um, the other, uh, the other one was pretty much how to get a hold of my of a professor if I'm interested in a class, but I'm not sure. Um, I'm really not sure how to go about it. You know, is this really what I want? How can I talk to somebody who might be able to give me more specifics as to how the class will work? Okay, um, you're, you're welcome to reach out to any one of us. Um, so when you go to register for your classes, um, if you're looking in WebAdvisor or if you're just, you know, searching on our website for the different courses, if you're looking in our catalog for things that you're interested in, um, you can send any one of us an email, even if you're not in our classes. Um, and we'd be happy to talk to you about, like I said, the program that might be best for you or the classes that you might want to start with. Uh, in our catalog, we do have a suggested um, course um, 
outline. So it tells you which classes that you should take first and then move forward to. But if you have questions about, you know, I'm looking to take one class, I want to get started with one thing, we'll talk to you about um, what your unique goals are, and then we'll suggest which class might be a good starter class for you. And we know that a lot of you might be very nervous to start in the online format. The great news about the business department is we sit down and we have our classes in a very similar structure so that as you go into the online classroom, you're not taken by surprise when you go in. Everything is set up in a very similar format so that it's comfortable um, for you in each of the classes that you're going to take. Um, but to circle back to the um, initial question there, as you're searching and thinking about those classes, um, send us an email and let us know how we can help you. And the last thing is, um, how do you know already how things are going to go in the fall? Are the classes only going to be online or is that still up in the air? Um, at this point, we have not heard. We are um, waiting for um, our administration to send word on how those classes are going to be structured. We are planning for a full range of lecture classes and should something happen to where we are not able to be back in the classroom, we will have uh, modified lecture classes for you. And a lot of our instructors um, this spring, what we did as we moved from the traditional lecture into this modified format was we did Blackboard Collaborate sessions, which allow you to attend live or you can watch the recorded version. Um, others, um, such as myself, for example, since I have um, a son at home and I was working with him for homeschooling, just like many of you are. Um, I did recorded uh, PowerPoint presentations with audio that I would upload. So each instructor is handling that a little bit different, um, but we are um, very much actively thinking about how, um, how our response will be for that as we did for the spring. Um, so again, we will just wait to see what our administration, um, what their guidance is. But as of now, we are planning for a full range of lecture classes for the fall. Awesome. Thank you. Those are all the questions we have right now. I really wanted to say thank you for popping in and being able to talk to our students or potential students so that they can understand how things are working right now and what are the some of the things that they can do to answer some of their questions. And we do have absolutely. Uh, Dr. Reese's email has been posted on the Facebook. So if anybody has any questions and don't, doesn't necessarily want to go back and look at everything, it is posted there. And so I just want to say thank you. And we'll be awesome. soon, I hope, again, even if it's over video. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you all for attending.